Hello everyone, welcome to Financial Success. Today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different and talking about how to buy small cryptocurrencies on PancakeSwap using Trust Wallet. And so these are cryptocurrencies like SafeMoon, Elongate, Eclipse Token, and many other smaller coins as well. And so as always, I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research. I'm just showing a tutorial here on how to buy these different cryptocurrencies. I am not recommending or not recommending buying them, so be very cautious, do not put more money in than you are willing to lose. Since cryptocurrencies are already a high risk um, investment, these penny stocks, if you will, of cryptocurrencies are extremely risky and very volatile. And so that's definitely something to keep in mind. And so let's get into it. This is Binance here that I'm looking at. These are all the different cryptocurrencies that are on the platform. And so this is the platform that I use. And so we will need to have BNB coin to do this transaction. And so you can buy that on Binance. That is their coin on for the platform. And so if you do not have a Binance account, there is a link below that you can use to create one to buy BNB. And so I really like this platform. They have very good charts. They have very low fees compared to Coinbase. And so if you're interested in this, please use the link below. And so the first step to doing this is by going to the wallet. And so I already have BNB coin here on Binance. And so we have to transfer Binance to Trust Wallet. And so if you do not have Trust Wallet, it is an app in the App Store that you can download. This is on iOS for Apple devices and then is also downloadable for Android devices as well. And so as you can see here, this is the withdrawal page for Binance.us. And the coin that I'm going to be withdrawing is BNB. And so this is going to be on the BEP2 network. They are asking for the recipient's BNB address. And so I am going to share my screen here. This is my cell phone and then this is the computer. And so I am not able to record since I'm going to be using my computer and the cell phone here to show how to do this. And so as you can see, this is the... BNB withdrawal page and so I'm going to be withdrawing BNB to the trust wallet and so on the right here this is the trust wallet and so I have downloaded this from the app store and I am using an iPhone and so as you can see down here there is a browser icon when you first download this app you are not going to see that you're just going to see wallet decks and then settings as of right now and so it does explain that here in this article from Trust Wallet is that on iOS they had to remove the decentralized application, the D app browser from Trust Wallet on iOS. And so this was required to comply with the new App Store guidelines. And so there is a way to add that. So once you download the Trust Wallet app, you can then add it. And so the way to do that is open the Safari browser on your cell phone and then type in the URL trust semicolon slash slash browser underscore enable and then tap go. And so then there's a page that's gonna come up and saying do you trust this? If you select open here, then you can relaunch the trust wallet and then you will see this icon for the browser. And so you do need this to have access to PancakeSwap. And so that's something you have to do on an iPhone. I believe this should show up on an Android device. If not, you may have to follow these same steps as well. And so on the phone here, you can see there is a receive. And so that's where we're going to click on that. And then there is a smart chain and then a BNB. And so the coin that we're going to be transferring over to TrustWallet is BNB. And so make sure to select the right coin here. This is very important. If you select the wrong coin, the BNB coin may transfer to that and get lost. And so it's very important to make sure you choose BNB here. And so once you select that, it opens up a QR code. You are able to scan that. However, since I'm using both devices, I am gonna copy the link by hitting this copy button. And we can see that the address was copied. And so I am now gonna go back to my Binance page here. And then this is going to be the recipient's BNB address. And so I'm gonna go ahead and paste that address. And so we just want to confirm that this address matches this address as well. And so it does look like they are the exact same. And so I have pasted the correct address in this BNB address. And so you can add a memo if you would like. I am going to type in Trust Wallet just so I am able to track it. And then the amount of BNB that I am looking to transfer is a half of BNB for this example. 
And so the minimum withdrawal amount is 0.1 BNB. That is approximately $50 currently since BNB is trading right around 500. And so I highly recommend doing just the minimum withdrawal if you're doing this for your first time, just to make sure that everything goes smoothly and the cryptocurrencies end up in the correct location. I'd, you know, if I'm gonna lose something, I'd rather lose $50 than a larger amount that I plan on putting in. And so definitely test this out before you put all the money in that you would like to put into here to buy these small altcoins. And so once I'm done with that, I can go ahead and hit submit. And then it is going to ask for an authenticator code. And so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that off of my phone here. And so this just depends what security um, things you have in place, whether it's a text message or a Google authenticator. So I like to use the Google Authenticator. And so then if you do have any issues when going through that, if it does give you an error, I recommend going back and then removing the memo line. It seems to work sometimes. And then if you do remove that, it seems to go through. And so it is going to send you an email confirmation to your email that is linked to your Binance account. And so they are going to make sure that you verify that. And so I'm gonna do that as well on my cell phone. And so if you just give me one second here, let's confirm that. And so they're just making sure that you are pushing this through. And so I have confirmed that order. And so I'm gonna go back into my withdrawal history here on Binance. And then we should be able to see that transaction. And so it is processing. We can see here the amount is 0.499. We did trade 0.5. And so they did take a small amount for a transaction fee for that. And so this is going through. It's, Usually is pretty quick. It takes a couple of minutes, but it may take up to a half hour. And so definitely be patient with that. And so while I'm waiting on that to transfer to the trust wallet, I'd like to take a look at Eclipse token here. This is the token I am going to be buying. And so as we can see, this is currently about a $98 million market cap. And so this did start trading about 12 days ago. It is fairly new and so this is something that i think has a lot of potential going forward they are working on creating charts for cryptocurrencies on the binance smart chain and so i think that has a lot of potential and so they also mentioned here that it is going to be listed on multiple exchanges they did tweet this a couple of hours ago that they are working with p2p and b2b exchange and then they have several other proposals from exchanges right now as well and so this is going to grow a lot more attention to Eclipse token as they get listed on more exchanges. And so I am on CoinMarketCap here. I did also want to mention that you can see where these coins are traded. And so CoinMarketCap has a lot of information. And so by going to market here, we can see that it is just traded on PancakeSwap. And so that's the only platform that you can actually buy this token on right now. And so I would like to compare this to SafeMoon that has been getting a lot of attention over the past week. And so we can see here that it trades on a few more um, platforms as well. Pancake Swap still has the majority of the volume at 60%, although you can see what other platforms you can purchase these. And so I think that's a very powerful tool to use. And so here we can see that their market cap is substantially larger. It is just over $4 billion. And so even if Eclipse token were to reach the market cap that SafeMoon is currently trading at, that would be a 40 times increase from where it currently is. And so I think there's a lot of potential for this going forward. And so I'd like to go back to Trust Wallet here on the phone and we can see that the current holdings here, I have um, some Eclipse that I had bought previously. I mentioned this in the Discord chat through Patreon that I bought this um, a few hours ago and since then it is up almost 50%. And so I definitely think that was a good purchase. I still think there's a lot of potential. And so here we can see that BNB has transferred already. Here's the 0.4499 that I transferred from Binance to Trust Wallet. And so the one thing we have to do here is click on BNB and then we gotta convert it over to the smart chain. So I am clicking on more here and then you can say swap to the smart chain. And so I'm going to swap 100% of my BNB to the BNB smart chain. And so I can select 100% down here. And then I'm going to click swap. And then send is charging me a $2 network fee here. And so that does take a couple of minutes for it to go through. And so if we go back to the home page here, we will be able to see that transfer. 
And so the BNB does show that it's gone. However, now we can see that it has shown up in the smart chain here. And so I have $256 now in the Binance smart chain. And so I did have a little bit of extra as well still in there from the purchase of Eclipse from prior. And so that is why that is a little bit more. And so the next step here is going to be on Trust Wallet as well on the phone. And so down here, we're going to select on browser. And as I said before, if you do not have this, you do have to enter the link that I talked about before. If you are an iOS user or if you, if you are an Android user, they may already have this in here. And so it's just going to depend. And so if you have already done that step, you can go ahead and click on browser. And then you can see a lot of the different D apps that they have or DeFi platforms that you can use. In this case, I'm going to be using PancakeSwap. And so I am going to select on that. And so when you get to this page here, you can see it says connect at the top. It is important to click that and then you're going to connect your trust wallet. And so we can see here it did add some numbers and letters for the account on trust wallet. And so now the two are connected. And so then from here, I'm going to select the three bars in the corner. I'm going to select trade and then I'm going to select exchange. And so this is where it allows you to exchange the Binance Smart Chain coins for other cryptocurrencies. And so I'm going to trade all the BNB that I have, which is approximately a half of BNB. And then I'm going to select the cryptocurrency I want to transfer it to. And so I can choose SafeMoon. There's a lot of choices on here. However, if you do not see what you're looking for, for example, if I'm looking for Eclipse token, which is ECP, it does not exist. And so there is a way around this. You can actually add a token here that you're looking to buy. And so I'm going to go to Eclipse Tokens website here on the left. You can also do this on your phone. I am just doing a side by side here so we can see how it works. And so from here, I'm going to go to BSC scan at the top. And then it is going to load this page here showing how many holders there are. There's 51,247 addresses. This was at about 30,000 addresses a few hours ago. And so this is growing pretty substantially. We can see their total supply is very large. And so I think, I mean, this is not going to grow to become a dollar or anything like that. It's definitely, you know, maybe get to the potential size or market cap of safe moon and so i think there is that potential and so as we can see the contract here that is the link that we will be copying to buy eclipse and so once i copy that link i can paste it over here and so i'm going to be pasting that and then it knows that based on that address that is the eclipse token and so that is ecp here as we can see and so i can go ahead and click on that and so i'm going to be transferring a half of bnb coin to ECP and so I can scroll down and then I will select, select swap and then confirm swap. And so here as well, it is going to be charging me a network fee of 53 cents. And so I'm going to send that over. And so it says that the transaction has been submitted. And so let's go back to the page of the wallet here. And so we can see that smart chain is now down to $4.64. And then I did pick up an additional $250 of Eclipse token. And so this is how you buy these different cryptocurrencies. And if you want to buy a different coin, you can also use PancakeSwap. You just have to find the link or search for the token on the platform for PancakeSwap. So I hope you're able to follow along here and see how to buy tokens on PancakeSwap using Trust Wallet. And so if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you think other people can benefit from this tutorial, please share the video. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, like I have said, this is very, very risky with these smaller coins. And so that's something to keep in mind. I do not want you losing a large amount of money. And so do not put more money in than you are willing to lose. This is kind of like gambling at this point. And so that's definitely something to keep in mind. So if you enjoyed these videos, please hit the subscribe button. I talk about different stocks on the stock market, different cryptocurrencies. And then I'm also providing this tutorial here on how to buy coins such as SafeMoon, Ilange, and Eclipse token. And so I forgot to mention one thing. On TrustWallet, they do allow you to buy BNB coin right there. However, they are going to charge you about a 10% fee. And so I do recommend buying BNB coin directly through Binance. 
And so if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.